Okay, so here is how we make the tapes for the sticky tape experiment. You just take a piece, oh, maybe about uh, eight or nine inches long. This is a little bit shorter, but I'm gonna be able to get it on screen here. And you fold over a piece of it, so you have a nice handle to, li to lift up with, and then you stick it on the table like that. So see over here, I got a little handle that I can use to lift up on it. And that's my base, so I'm not gonna label that one. This next one, I'm going to put a handle on it, but I'm going to put it on the other side so I can lift the handle and I'm going to put it right on top of this one and kind of stick them together. And see, I got a little handle over here now on this side. And then I'm going to get a marker and mark this one as a top. So T for top. And then I'm going to make another set just like that. So I'll put a base down. All the base is for is just really just to protect our table. And then I'll put a top down on top of that. And so the top will go right there. And I put a little handle on this end just so I would know, uh, you know that where the top was easier to pick it up. And I'm gonna label that one T as well. Okay, so now that I have two top tapes, I'm going to lift them off. I'm not going to yank them off really fast, but I'm also not going to do it slowly. I'm just going to do it at kind of a medium speed. And I'm going to hang the top tape up here, this top one right there. And I'll lift this one up. And I'm going to bring it close to that one. And we'll see what happens here. So here I have two top tapes one in my hand and one hanging from the table. Let's see what happens when I bring them close together. Now I'm gonna make two sets of tapes again, but this time there's gonna be a top and a bottom tape. Now the bottom tape doesn't mean the base tape. The base tape is as always just there to protect our table and to provide a uniform base from which our other tapes can be lifted. So there's my base tape, if you will. And I'm gonna make two base tapes this time again. I'm making nice little handles on the end so I can pick up my base tapes when I'm done with my little experiment here. Now I have my two base tapes and I'm going to put the next tape is going to actually be our bottom tape this time. We're going to call it the bottom tape because we're going to put the top tape on top of it. So we'll put it right over here. That's my one bottom tape. And put another one over here. There's my second bottom tape. And now I'm going to put top tapes on there. I probably label the bottom tapes first so I don't forget which one's which. But these are both bottom tapes. And now I'll come over and make a little handle and make two top tapes. I'm going to put the handles on the same side this time, the bottom tape and the top tape handle, because I want to have them on the same end when I lift them off, so I can lift them off together. So this is a top tape. And this is another top tape. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift off the top and bottom tapes together off of the base. And then I'm going to touch them to something either metallic, like I have this pan over here, or I could touch them to my lip. Anything to, to get them to stop being the, you know, just like the top tape was before. And now I have both a top and bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my top and bottom 
and I'm going to separate them. Again, we're going to separate them kind of quickly, but not rip them apart really super fast, just kind of a medium speed, separate them. And then I'm going to place the bottom tape. I'll put the top tape up here and tape it there. And I'll put the bottom tape and tape it. Oh, you see what's happening with those already. Might need to place it a little bit away from that other top tape. And now I'll do the same thing with the other side. I'll lift them up, both together away from the base tape. And then I'm going to separate them at a fairly fast speed, but not ripping them apart. And now what I'll do is I'll take my bottom tape over to the bottom tape and look what it does. And I'll take my bottom tape over the top tape and look what it does. I'll need to show you that. So let me reverse the camera angle here. So now you see I have my top tape over here, my bottom tape way over here, and a piece of paper over there. And I also have a piece of aluminum foil on the side. I had to take the aluminum foil and put it so far away from the tapes because it was getting too much of a reaction. Let's take the bottom tape and put it up close to the top tape and see if we can see what happens. Let's take a look at that from the side. Okay, let's take the bottom tape and put it next to this bottom tape and let's see what it does. Oh, you can see what it's doing there. So kind of same thing as what the top tape did to the other top tape. And last but not least, let's take a look and see what the bottom tape does to the piece of paper. And we'll see. Oh, there we go. If I bring it close enough together, you can see that the bottom tape is being attracted to it a little bit. Okay, and last but not least, let's look what the bottom tape does to my aluminum foil piece over here. Here's my bottom tape, and look at that. They're attracting each other. Okay, let's look at the top tape then and see what it does. This is my top tape. Let's see if it still does what it used to do to the top tape. This is the top tape over here. Yes, it is still repelling it. Let's see what the top tape does to the bottom tape. Ah, they're attracting one another. And the top tape to the piece of paper, yes, well, they're clearly attracting each other. There they go. And then top tape to my piece of aluminum foil. That's also attracting each other. Okay, so next we have a top tape here and a bottom tape here. And I'm going to rub a latex balloon on a convenient source of natural fiber, namely my hair. And now I'm gonna bring the balloon close to the top tape and look what the top tape does. You can see that the top tape is attracted to my balloon, whereas the bottom tape is repelled from my balloon. And you definitely can see that the bottom tape is being repelled from this balloon. Now let's see what happens when I rub a piece of plastic with some bubble wrap. This works really well if you have something like PVC pipe laying around, but I didn't happen to have any, so I'll try it with bubble wrap instead. Top tape is repelled from that, whereas the bottom tape is now attracted to that. 